my channel. My name is Ashley Michelle. It's wonderful to meet you. If you're new, if not, welcome back. I would like to apologize ahead of time for the hot mess that I am. I understand that I don't look at my best right now. Um, it's super late. Uh, the full moon is out, so I'm definitely, like, I still have things to get done and get out into the world so that way they can charge and just be merry, but, um, I did want to get this done before in bulk because I wanted to give you guys that for in bulk as my little in bulk present, if that makes sense. Um, and... I just have been running around all day today, today's my only day off, so I had a lot of things that I had to kind of just like housekeeping catch up on. So in bulk, uh, traditionally it falls on February 1st or 2nd, um, most people either choose one or the other, more traditionally the 2nd, but personally I think that it's wonderful to celebrate both days. I usually go with all the days. like. If there is a discrepancy on what day you can celebrate something, I'm there for every one of those days. Um, any reason to celebrate is a reason to celebrate, so that's kind of just the way that I feel. Um, for people in the Southern Hemisphere, it should be August 1st and 2nd. Should be first August 1st and 2nd. Um, I think, personally, that it just depends on the practitioner, I think that it's a good idea to kind of go with your seasons, um, but I know that some do prefer to go with the dates of the Northern Hemisphere, and there's nothing wrong with that either. I know I've done my official disclaimer video, but disclaimer, if this is not the way that you celebrate, if you celebrate a different way, that is perfectly acceptable, that's perfectly fine. We're not all going to have the same traditions and values and, like, ritualistic expressions. That's fine. Um, leave a comment in the description box. Wow. Leave a comment in the comment section um, with any differences that you do or any things that you want to share. I'm perfectly open to hearing about them. I love learning about other people's experiences. I personally grew up, you know, with multiple re religions around me, sometimes even at the, in the same house at the same time. So I think that it's wonderful when people come together and they do their own thing and are kind of like respectful of everyone else, but are like, hey, this is what I do. I just, I find that great. Symbols of Imbolc or symbolisms that are found with Imbolc can be anything that has to do with the home or hearth, um, anything purification, cleansing, uh, bringing about new beginnings and new life. Protection is really good during this time if you're going to do any, you know, protection spells, that is a good time to do it. Uh, brides and maidens is a running theme with Imbolc. A lot of live animals, animals are starting to come back, you know, kind of come out of their dens and come out of hibernation. Flowers, trees, foliage. Um, Decorations maybe for your altar could include horseshoes, acorns, um, pine cones, anything that has to do with the sun, uh, with new life. It's traditional to have a white and a green candle. White and green are two of the major colors of in bulk, as well as red, light blue, violet, um, and yellow herbs um, that you'll likely see or use during this time as well are basil, bay leaves, angelica, which I've never personally uh, seen or used, but I'm very interested in getting it this year. Um, cinnamon and vanilla, myrrh, um, rosemary. How did I forget about rosemary? I literally just got a rosemary plant for it. What am I thinking? 
crystals that are associated with Imbolc are amethyst, onyx, rubies, malachite, uh, bloodstone and moonstone is really good, uh, turquoise I have also heard, uh, garnet if I didn't say garnet yet. Um, those are all good things to either decorate your altar with or to keep on hand with you or just use within this time. So ways to celebrate in bulk. Um, every kind of Sabbath comes with its own traditional things. A lot of them cross over like divination and such but in bulk is really good for planning your garden which is my favorite what i've been doing i have tons of seeds ready i have tons of herbs um that i'm going to be planting my boyfriend just made me a new garden box that i'm super excited to use i have to get uh soil for that before i can even start on it which is super sad because that's all i want to do is start like growing things Making and burning your own candles are a wonderful thing. Um, you don't have to make your own candles, but I do find that you can kind of control more of what you're putting into it. If you're very, you know, if you're certain intents, you want to put certain intents into your craft, into making your candle, then it just, to me, seems silly not to try um, at least once. And it's fun to do. I personally am a very crafty person uh, when I have the time, so it's always a recommendation for me that if you can make it, make it. Purification baths are super popular, especially this year. Um, I don't think I've seen an influx of purification bath like ritual type things. Um, I don't think last year it was as big of a deal, at least in the circles that I was in. But this year it seems to be like a super exciting topic for everyone. So maybe check that out if you're just looking for another good thing to do and sit back and relax with. Bonfires, certain, you know, cooking. Obviously every holiday has cooking. Like who doesn't cook during holidays? Um, making your own Bridget's dolls or crosses is super fun. I have only done it, I think I've done it once or twice. Grounding rituals, meditation, um, creating your own wand. If you've never done that, there's a bunch of Pinterest stuff that you can look up. There's wonderful resources out there. It's super fun to do. Um, me and my grandmother <laughs> made ones. Uh, she made ones for all of the grandchildren and she had a wonderful time doing it and we had a wonderful time helping her like pick out what we wanted on ours. I still have mine. It's put away. I don't use it for magical purposes, but I do love it. I do adore it. Um, maybe I'll get it out and start using it, but I don't feel the need for a wand. If you do though, or if you want to try it, I think that it's a wonderful way to kind of get in touch with your witchy crafty side and that's just fun. Cleansing and blessing your spaces and your tools is another really big thing. Um, of course I would always do this periodically or even if you want to do it for every Sabbath that's probably a good idea too just to make sure that you're you know, getting any negative energy out or any unwanted energy. Um, it's just a, a good upkeep and maintenance practice, but also um, it's just good to do every once in a while. You can, you want to give thanks to the earth during this time because it is refreshing itself, it is coming back to life, and you do want to kind of help strengthen it. So I like um, this little tradition that I saw a couple years ago of pouring milk on the earth. I know I'll be doing that um, in my new garden box when I get it. So as soon as I fill it up and as soon as I, you know, put all the seeds in, I'll just put a little bit of milk in it just to give thanks to the earth and its bounty. Decorating your altar is also another huge thing. Um, not everyone decorates their altar for the Sabbaths. If you don't 
want to, if you don't feel the need to, then that's fine. It's just a fun way to kind of clean up things. I would recommend that you always, like, at least cleanse your spaces and stuff like that, and especially your altar because it's such a personal area and it is very important to you but you don't necessarily need to decorate it any differently for the Sabbaths. It's just a fun kind of tradition to make. And last but not least, foods. There's a lot of dairy and um, carby products that are usually consumed. Dairy is a really big thing. Um, if you are someone who does not eat dairy or has a hard time with dairy or whatever, there's obviously substitutes that you can use and you don't have to adhere strictly to any kind of traditions or, you know, specific, specific things. So feel free to incorporate whatever parts of the in bulk traditions that you want to and feel free to replace them with new traditions. Uh, herbal teas and spiced wines are really good for this time. My cat is trying to get in the room. Rude. Um, you can also, cheeses, um, breads, a lot of breads, a lot of cakes, seeds and nuts are really good for this time. Root vegetables and red meats, kind of a lot of hearty things that you would have seen in winter and what probably would have consumed during winter to like stay warm all those kind of cozy stew type things those are all very popular during in bulk because you're still getting over winter but you're not yet ready to give up all those yummy foods um seeded cakes if i didn't already say that i know this year i'm going to be doing lavender and poppy seed cookies which I did with my mom a couple of years ago and I really loved and I haven't done them since and I haven't had them since and if you know like anything about missing you know home cooked food I'm so ready for it I'm so ready for them um, so that's kind of where my mind's at uh, leave some recipes down in the comments or like DM me or something. I want recipes. I love recipes. I have a whole like cabinet dedicated to recipe books and binders full of recipes and cutouts full of recipes. I don't always use them obviously, but um, I do love them. I, I love creating new foods. I love cooking. So that's going to be, you know, a, a huge thing for me. The cooking and the gardening, I think, are my the most important things for me in my practice. Um, and I just think that they're wonderful things for holidays anyway. <laughs> so uh, that's pretty much it. That's, that's about all I have for today. Um, hopefully this wasn't too short or quick or, you know, hopefully it was very understandable and easy and broken down. Um, Tell me what you guys are doing for Invoke. I hope everyone, regardless of what they're celebrating, has a wonderful day. Um, feel free to leave comments and give me a like, maybe, subscribe, perhaps. That'd be super cool. Um, but you can find a bunch of information if you're a beginner or if you're a newbie. There is plenty of resources for you to start your journey, whether it's in Wicca, Paganism, whatever it is you're doing, if you just want to freaking celebrate with us, celebrate, like, have fun, eat cakes, and be merry. <laughs> That's all I really have to say about it. But, um, you guys have a good night. I hope that, like, this isn't too bleh and the light isn't bleh and I'm sorry that I look like a little bit of a zombie. I can already tell like I my eyes look red as all get out then. <laughs> but you know I hope that you guys have a wonderful time. I hope that you enjoy whatever it is you do wherever and I hope that your night is lovely or your day whatever you're doing. I've said that too many times. Have a good night guys.